Good, Good morning, morning Maastricht. Maastricht. My name is Jasper de Boer. And my name is Marta Tantra. Welcome to Breaking Mast, show that brings you the news. If you plan to cheat, your time is coming. Because Carnival will start this weekend, and as we all know, people do funny stuff while dressed as pirates, <laughs> drinking on the streets, singing along with brass bands. So be prepared and enjoy your time. Social media fails again. Maastricht University Library gave students a chance to come up with ideas for a new study place at the SSC. Neil Cohen Learning Institute was one of them, however, it got rejected. Let's take a look why. I'm standing at the SSC and two floors up, they're building 160 new study spaces. That's all very nice. Uh, but the University Library, which actually needs those study places, thought of a little Facebook spamming. And they asked students, what sort of name should we give this new facility? And that is where it all went wrong. Uh, it's a study facility, beautiful building, just new, opening in mon on Monday. And this building might have your, your name, perhaps, or maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'd be honored if it was called, you know, the Neil Curran Learning Institute. I said, like, you know, no, this is going to sound like, you know, I want my name all over Mass Street and stuff. But, you know, it, it, it started off as a joke and they were like, yeah, you know, why not call it the Neil Curran Learning Institute? You know, basically it's a student's name. We got the learning, you know, what we do here, you know, yeah. that's the purpose of the building. And the institute, you know, describes the building. So I don't really think, I can't see why this name would not be adequate. No, so I think it's time to find some responsible. Uh, I mean, they shouldn't uh, have asked. Library. They shouldn't have asked for the students' opinion if if they're not. You know, someone someone said that comment. You know, don't. It's like a rule of social media. You know, don't ask for the opinion if you can't deal with it. But I guess I think that that's what the, the issue is here. You know, but don't let people say what they would like it to be called. Then let people vote for what they would like it to be called, and then sort of disregard the whole the whole involvement that that students had in it. As you might have seen on the pictures of Mass Life, Breaking Mass went to a party last Friday organized by Coherent Concept at Den Himmel and your favorite party crusher, Eva, dressed up for the occasion. Tonight we are going to check out the party organized by Coherent Concept, the new group of people who aim to improve the nightlife in Maastricht. The theme of the party is the new chic detail shock. I think I look really encouraging to give me an interview, so let us let ask the people how do they like the party. It's quite nice. It's quite not nice. quite nice, it's very it's nice. It's okay, yeah, it's, it's very it's, nice it's, it's if you're drunk. I like the fact there are people with glasses with massive fuck yous on them. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm afraid I'm afraid that right now I'll be speaking to the competition because I work for Exceed Maastricht and uh, I don't know what I can tell you and what I can't, to be honest. I'm really new in this country and I'm really pleased to be here. I'm from America, high New York, um, but uh, Maastricht is awesome. It's a different location than the Allah always and we were supposed to have some shocking detail and where are yours? I'm pretending to be a Bulgarian Mafia guy, you know. Okay, this is so shocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And you? I like the party very much. I want to say a big hello to everyone who is watching Breaking Mass. This was an amazing speech, Gosha. <laughs> one more thing, can I just one more thing? I am going to get on this program before I leave Maastricht in June. Yeah! Fact! Well, the thing is, um, like most of us have been here for like more than one and a half years. Yeah. And we just got bored of Allah. And we're annoyed by the prizes from other student parties. So we just tried to like offer something good but for a better price, which is more student-friendly. Have you already made some plans uh, for upcoming parties? Yeah, in, uh, we are thinking about March, mid or end March, and uh, either here or somewhere else where we can um, possibly have more people coming. Parties, jokes, and 100% of fun. That was past half a year with our beloved reporter, Eva. And Eva, unfortunately, has to leave for exchange, but she will be back next year. We'll miss you, Eva, all of us.
and we're just spending some time in, in Gangnam style country. Our new reporter Lara went to the Salt Ceramic, famous for the World Press Photo Exhibition. But right now it's up to 65 Maastricht celebs to fill in the space. And this is a Breaking Mass special coming your way. My name is uh, Ruben Rehorst. I'm 30 years old. I'm a photographer. And this is the exhibition I made for uh, Sandra Ceramic, the public library. It's called Lezen met een zachte G, and it consists of 65 large portraits of famous people from Limburg. Um, how did you come up with this idea? Well, it was actually an, uh, it was an assignment from the Sandra Ceramic. So they asked, uh, they asked me to, to make an exhibition around that theme. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what sums it up is to, to get like, people from Limburg connected with uh, literature. Do you like actually to read? What is your favorite book? Because I haven't seen a picture of you here. <laughs> no, actually, I thought it would be yeah, I thought it would be inappropriate to put up a, like a self-portrait, you know, because I don't I don't see myself as being uh, that important or famous. My favorite book actually is from uh, from Brad Easton Ellis, an American writer. He wrote American Psycho. I I don't really know how to define my style in uh, in one word, but I like to work with people. I'm fascinated by people and by the psychology of what, what goes behind the face. And especially for this series, I also really, I really took the, their environment with them, you know, their portraits, but they also show like this, yeah, their favorite places. What makes this, this exhibition or this assignment so special for you? It's my, first of all, it's my biggest like solo exhibition up till now. And I can, I can, you know, share it with Maastricht because I'm originally from Maastricht. Mm -hmm. And then thank you very much for your time and um, for answering the questions. Oh, thank you. <laughs> then bye-bye. <laughs> the last weekend of January, M2 Life took place at the Bonafante Museum, a cultural event organized by and for students. We were invited by one of our friends, Alex from Mass Life, who also was one of the organizers. So we are sitting here with Alex, who is uh, the main organizer of this event, which is the live performance of DJ Spainters. Can you tell me something more about it? Today we're gonna have we're gonna have like uh, four artists performing live live painting in these panels that you see there and on the floor with some deep house uh, DJs, and it's gonna be great. What is your idea actually for making art? Um, I don't know, I just gotta do it. I've been doing this for six years and um, if I don't do it, I think I'd go crazy. Inspiration is instinct, so it's all it all comes from down here and sometimes I don't even know what it means. I just do it, you know, it's like you're a slave to your own creativity. On Tuesday, 5th of February, party lovers Maastricht will present the Carnival Special at Cafe Clinic at 10 p.m. Pre-sale at Jules and You, and first 150 guests will get a free shot. Right after the craziness of Carnival, Masmas is coming to town. Volume 11, second birthday at Music Hit today. That was it for today. See you back here in two weeks from now on. And remember, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yarn. Bye-bye.